Hey guys, welcome to my long anticipated playthrough of Dark Souls. At the risk of talking too much, because I think I already did that, covered that in another video, we're going to go ahead and just get started. With the character select screen. Um, our character name is going to be... Let's see, I think we can actually do this with the mouse. Or, yeah, we can do this with the mouse. Uh, at YouTube. Oh, oh my god! It's not long enough. YouTube. x Recla YouTube. There we go. Someone will get it. Alright. That's to let everyone know, if they're ganking me, that I am a YouTuber and I have it on the videos. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play as a lovely male guy. I think all my other characters were dudes. And for the decisions that actually matter, we're going to be playing as a Pyromancer. Valdex and I both agree, I think, Valdex will probably shoot me if I'm wrong, that this is the best character to start with. Period. Um, the best gift to start with, if it is your first time, might not be the Master Key, because it's kind of cheating, but... I would recommend to anyone just go ahead and get it, as it allows you to get some really cool stuff early on that really help you out. So we're going to go with an average build, that's fine. Face, uh, I think I'm going to pick the, jub the Jubilant Katarina. That's funny. Uh, Dragon Scholar is what I usually go with, actually. Dragon Scholar. And we're going to go with a ponytail. And the color is going to be fine for being black. Yeah, that's good. Male Pyromancer Master Key Average Dragon Scholar Ponytail Black. Yep, I think that's everything. Okay, the only thing left is to determine if I screwed up my optimization settings or not. I really hope I didn't. Are we okay to start the game with this character? Yes, let's freaking do it. In the Age of Ancients. The world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. First of the day. The Witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods build upon their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more.
soon the flames will fade and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. A man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Hey, we're in the game. That's a very important cutscene, so I didn't want to talk over it. And we're going to pillage this corpse, so we're going to get a key. Okay. Off we go on our adventure. It's already running pretty good, so I guess I fixed everything and didn't F up the controls just yet. Whack. And whack. And whack. And whack. For a first-time player, it's very important that you read literally every single one of these little orange texts. All of them are important. To learn the controls is to learn how to survive. And oh my god, I forgot that the way you jump in this game is completely different from the second one. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that. Target lock and release. Skill, if you are familiar with Legend of Zelda, seems very familiar, but it is not to be used constantly. It is only to be used on small things, as we will find out. You typically only use the lock-on feature to combat things that are roughly your size or smaller. Anything bigger than you, not so much. There's a little bit of skill involved in that. Rest at bonfire to recover HP, and we're going to rest at this bonfire, as it is the first bonfire in the game. Bonfire lit. At bonfires, you can do various things. At this one, we can't do anything because we already have the one type of magic attune that we actually have. Um, I think. Do I have... Do I only have this thing? Do I have anything else? I don't know. Okay. We just, we just have the broken, stupid sword of being dumb. So what has happened so far? We have learned that our character is an undead that was locked away in the undead asylum. As most undead are. And also there's something very big and mean up there as it looks through the hole in the roof. We should be prepared for that. What's that sign over there say? It says, get away! Oh god! Run for our lives! It is good that we read signs. <laughs> Moving on. Yes. We were trapped in the Undead Asylum, and it appears that a knight or some other sort of person threw us the key 
to getting out of our cell. And now that we are out of our cell, we are getting shot by arrows because we suck at the game. 